Today we have the unique opportunity to look at the framework, the skeleton of the Cimarron trailers that's being built. This is a rare chance to see how these trailers are constructed, something you don't get to see after the finished products out on the lot or in your driveway. The foundation for a Cimarron trailer starts with our 9 inch tall main beam, or as we refer to it, the T-beam. That beam is 9 inches tall and a quarter inch thick. That gives us a solid foundation to build the trailers from. Now the unique part about our T-beam is where we organize the T, this center section. This is 3 inches down from the top. This allows our doors to be mounted low to the floor of the trailer without having to notch or cut out this T-beam. Also, it gives us 6 inches from the floor down to give added protection for holding tanks on the living quarter model trailers. Now from that T-beam, we go to our tubular, rectangular tubing sidewall post. The standard post in a Cimarron trailer is inch and three-eighths deep and two inches wide. In structural areas and around doors, we use a four-inch wide post. Now most of my competitors use a C-channel type arrangement for their sidewall post. Some also use an inch by two and a half inch post. But our inch and three-eighths by two inch post is 40% stronger than that one inch by two and a half inch post. It utilizes the same amount of aluminum per foot, so it costs the same and weighs the same, but makes this trailer sidewall 40% stronger and gives us 3 8 inch more depth in the sidewall. Talking about the sidewall posts in a Cimarron trailer, again, they're four-sided rectangular tubing. Another unique feature about our extrusions of our tubing is that two of those corners have radius edges. We always have the radius edges to the inside of the cargo area so that the horse or any livestock is not rubbing against a square corner. Another little detail found in a Cimarron trailer that makes it better by design and safer and more comfortable for your cargo. Now to strengthen our, our sidewalls, we go back here to where these horses are going to be. And I'm a little over 200 pounds. If I push on this sidewall, this sidewall doesn't flex. Try that with the competition and see what happens and imagine an 11 to 1200 pound animal in here doing the same thing on a sidewall. The other foundation piece of a Cimarron trailer is our floor. The floor of a Cimarron trailer is 12 inches wide and these are interlocking deck boards. These planks, aluminum extrusions, interlock tongue and groove just like a tongue and groove board. The supports are every six inches underneath this floor and they're extruded into the deck board. Six inch spacing allows a horse's hoof always to be over support. They're not just riding on a flat sheet while they're traveling down the highway. Our floor gives you maximum strength and support for your horses. Also, we have traction ridges on top of this floor if you have a stock trailer that doesn't have floor mats. If you do have a horse trailer with floor mats, that keeps a little bit of air underneath the mats, letting that horse urine dry out before it will corrode your floor. Now the important thing about our floor extrusion, it's a 6005A T6 extrusion. That's 15% more corrosion resistant than the typical 6061 extrusion, and over 40% more corrosion resistant than a 5000 alloy sheet found in several of my competitors' trailers. Walk on our floors and you'll notice a difference compared to the competition. Again, better by design and more safe for your prized cargo. The gooseneck hitch on a trailer is going to take a lot of abuse and stress for going down the road. We build our Cimarron trailers better by design to give you years of trouble free use by building safety into this gooseneck hitch. Our steel gooseneck assembly first of all has a 42 inch long gusset from the end down here to the coupler pipe. That's as long as this gusset can be without getting into the box of your truck bed as you're turning this trailer and making tight corners. This steel assembly is attached to our 9 inch tall aluminum mainframe with huck bolts. These are 3 8 inch diameter huck bolts used commonly in the semi-trailer industry. Give it phenomenal strength and superior fastening capacity to this aluminum structure to the steel. That's also protected between the steel and the aluminum with mylar tape to prevent any electrolysis for years down the road. Now where this aluminum mainframe comes back to the gusset here, we also reinforce with a quarter inch steel plate that we call our boomerang gusset due to its shape, again with huck fasteners. Similar idea down where this gusset attaches to the main frame on the trailer. So from this point all the way around, you're looking at the 124 huck fasteners holding the front of this Cimarron trailer together to give you years of trouble free use down the road. We know you're going to invest lots of money in a Cimarron trailer, just like any other trailer on the market. Now we also invest money in our vehicles, but we don't have to see all the fasteners of a vehicle. With our contemporary design at Cimarron, we have these nice radius rocker panels that hide all the structural fasteners, both for the gooseneck assembly and in the structural reinforcements that we need in the corners. The nice smooth radius edge means you're not going to be bumping your head against a sharp corner going in and out of, underneath this trailer. 
Plus, it just adds to the contemporary body style of the Cimarron trailer. On all Cimarron trailers, the front radius here is an 18-inch radius. That gives you nice aerodynamics to the front of the trailer while still maximizing its usable interior space. On all trailers, we're going to have an aluminum rolled gusset here of 190 aluminum plate. Now on living quarter trailers or trailers with a reinforced gooseneck, we stack additional plates up here to add strength to the front end of the trailer, increasing the life of the Cimarron trailer. Additionally, on medium and larger size trailers, we also go to a 4 inch wide post on the front instead of the standard 2 inch. We know as trailers get larger, they need more reinforcement. That's why we add the gussets and the aluminum to the trailer to give you years of trouble free use. Another feature that's better by design in the Cimron way is our use of VHB tape by 3M. Now the VHB tape is used on all the structural posts behind the sheets of this trailer. That tape creates a barrier and is the adhesive between the sheets and the structure of our aluminum trailer. Most of my competitors use aluminum rivets. Rivets keep that metal to metal and add vibration to the trailer and noise. By VHB tape, it's self-insulating and self-sealing, so that makes the trailer quieter for the horses, which is going to allow them to arrive at the show or the trail ride or rodeo more comfortable and relaxed and ready to perform. Also, it adds beauty to the trailer. Without having to see all those rivets, they're easy to clean and it adds that smooth, clean look to the trailer.